back to my channel for one of the best series of all time. Another episode of Sip and Thrift, where together we go on some sort of thrifting adventure and we also stop to get something caffeinated along the way. And I'm just so excited. I have a plan to hit thrift stores early to try to find the best things possible before the general public kind of picks everything up. And today I just want to find the most McKellish things possible. Just things that I feel like are so me that I would wear every single day that are fun, simple, timeless, effortless, chic, classic. Those are all words I strive to find within my clothing. So also one thing to make this video so much more exciting than a normal everyday sip and thrift is this video is in collaboration with one of my favorite brands of all time. We have Missouri sponsoring this video. One of my favorite places to buy jewelry. I love their pieces. I wear them all the time. A little bit more on them later, but we will be pairing some new jewelry pieces I got from them with the outfits that we find. So without further ado, let's go thrifting. Okay, I pulled up to Goodwill and I'm also here a little bit earlier than I've ever been here before. It's 10.30 a.m. I feel like I normally come like 12 or 1. So maybe it'll be less picked over than normal and I will kind of get like the pick of the litter because they've only been open for 30 minutes. So let's go see if it's any different than usual. We can take it slow, make sure we do this right. Canceled all my plans to be with So far, I found this turtleneck sweater dress. I'm probably not gonna love the way it fits me, but it might be fun belted for like a fun winter fall look with honestly, the boots I'm wearing now would be really cute with it. So I wanna try it. It's a little bit risky, but I love this sweater. It's very clearly vintage. We can look into it when we're home together, but I love the colors of it, the pattern of it, the shape of it, the size of it. Perfectly slouchy. Oh, I'm so excited to try this one on. And then I don't know what this collar shape is called, but I've noticed it a lot lately and like, you know, new clothes that are coming out from really like timeless brands. So I thought that this would be a fun, just like simple staple piece, something that I would honestly probably wear a lot. So I grabbed that. Let's try that on too. Okay, I just found this. It's Eileen Fisher, which is a really great brand. And I find that a lot at this Goodwill because this Goodwill is down the street from an Eileen Fisher location. This is size 1X, so it's not my size, but I feel like it could be really, really fun worn as like a cardigan instead of as like a blouse. And I feel like when you wear things as cardigans, you can size up as much as you want and it will still read really fun. <laughs> How much is this? It's $9.99, so it's a little bit pricey. What's the color? I think I'm gonna get it though. So when I first walked in, I saw something very very wild, total wild card. And it might honestly be a costume, but it kind of caught my eye because it's very like 60s. I'm gonna go back to it. Should we get four things that are very me and one thing that's a complete possible costume just for fun? Is that weird? I kind of want to try it. I'll show you, let's go back. Okay, this is it right here. It's $8.99, like I said, it might be a costume, uh, but it's really fun. I don't know if this is gonna fit over my hips, but we can try it. I'm pretty sure it's vintage. Well, let's see. No, maybe Maybe not, but I just, I kind of want to try it. Let's get it. Let's have fun guys. Let's, let's have fun. Oh my word. I am so pleased with the things we got. I am praying that they look okay on because my expectations are really high. I feel like normally the try on portion goes really well when I'm like, I don't know about these things. And then I'm really surprised and pleased. But this time I'm like, I love these things. So my expectations are up here. So we'll see how they live up to the expectations. But uh, that last pink girly dress inspired me. Let's go to a coffee place we haven't been to in a long time. It's another place I don't go to often because it's in like the busy part of town. So parking is a little bit more difficult, but they're adorable. They're called coffee and plants. And let's go there and see what kind of fun drink we can get together. I feel like every time I say I don't go to a coffee shop often because the parking's difficult, I end up finding one of the like three meters. <laughs> I looked into that. Okay, let's go get something fun. I know it's nothing new. It's so good to see you We do this every day And I'm still so amazed by you 
gosh okay so they had something new on their menu called pink matcha and i was like what is that i'm sure you get asked that 20 times a day she's like yes but it's okay it's a new drink it only comes iced and it's california cold outside it is freezing for us 59 degrees outside which is so cold for us but i wanted to try it anyways and apparently it's hibiscus rose syrup and I got oat milk and they uh, color it with beet juice <laughs> and then a matcha shot on top. The whole thing was like bright pink before she poured this in and now it's mixing but it looks so pretty. So let's give it a little taste test. I'm gonna give it one sip of straight up and then one trying to mix it around a little because I'm sure this tastes more like matcha and this tastes more like strawberry hibiscus rose. What did I say? Hibiscus rose, right? Yeah. Whoa, <laughs> that's a lot. It's really sweet. It's really sweet. Like on a scale of one to 10, like a nine. But you still do get the matcha. I'm sure, like I said, the matcha's strongest at the top. I get a little bit of the rose, but not a lot of the rose. Let me give it a mix around and we'll try it again. Ooh, after it's mixed, it's not as cute. <laughs> I mean, I guess pink and green together kind of turns into a brown. I get a little more of the rose. I do. I think I would actually taste the rose more if it was less sweet because all I can taste is like simple syrup or whatever they use to sweeten it. Don't taste any of the beet though. That was a fun experiment. <laughs> okay, let's go try on these things. I have, I think, never been more excited for a try on haul in my life and I cannot wait to see if these live up to my expectations. So incredibly successful. I cannot wait to wear these pieces. Whenever I do thrift hauls, I like to mention, definitely recommend washing clothes before you try them on, especially in 2020. But I cannot wait to style these pieces. And as I mentioned earlier, I got a few new things from Missouri. We have four normal pieces of clothing. <laughs> what a wild card, we'll save that for last. So with the four McKellish pieces of clothing, we're gonna style one of these accessories with each of them. And I cannot wait to create a look with these things. If you've been watching my channel, for years you've probably heard me talk about Missouri over and over and over about 80% of my jewelry is from Missouri in fact I did a jewelry collection video a few months ago and throughout the video I just kept talking about Missouri and at the end of the video I was like gosh dang I should have got Missouri to sponsor this because I literally just talked about them for 20 minutes straight about how much I love them but my thing about jewelry is I want to find really classic high quality pieces and their whole brand mentality is luxury can be every single day, which I love. They have gold verme pieces, which are very high quality, but still at the lower end of the price point. And then they have solid gold pieces as well, which are a little bit more of splurge items. So they have a little bit of something for everyone. And my test of jewelry is if I can wear a pair of earrings for days and forget I have them on and they'll be okay. All of my Missouri pieces have held up over time. They also come out with new drops every single Monday, so there's always something fun and fresh. But the reason that they're sponsoring the video coming out today is today, the 23rd, is the start of their Black Friday sale. So between November 23rd through November 30th, they have a sale going on where if you buy one item, it's 10% off. If you buy two items, it's 15% off. And if you buy three or more items, it's 20% off. And that includes all small other goods and milestone rings, but does not include the co-design collections. But if you're watching this after November, 30th it's okay don't worry I got you um, I actually always have a link down below it's all of my favorite things but if you use this link it's you're obviously already getting a discount if you shop during their Black Friday sale but outside of their Black Friday sale if you're a first-time buyer and you use my link you get 10% off and I get commission, so it's a win-win. We can help each other out. Last fun fact, their gold verme is actually layered on top of sterling silver. So it's like quality on top of quality. Okay, let's try on our items and let's pair these things with it. Okay, first and foremost, this vintage sweater. It has like a maroon, a burnt orange, a little bit of green, and a little bit of blue. It has to be vintage. I mean, look at this tag, Waterfront Workshop. But just the font of this is so... I don't know, 80s maybe looking. And it's a lightweight knit, so it's actually very California friendly. I picture this with some black pants, some boots, and maybe a fun pair of earrings. So let's try it on. Guys, I am in love. I feel like I found the best winter sweaters lately thrifting. Just a sec. This is what this looks like. It is the perfect fit, like perfectly slouchy and relaxed and comfy. I did a French tuck, so this is what it looks like with jeans, and boots, <laughs> all the cozy things together. This is what it looks like completely untucked. So it's like a pretty relaxed fit. I believe it's a size medium. French tucked into some pants. 
and this is just like beyond my wildest dreams. It's also the perfect weight for California, not too heavy, not too light, will keep you warm without you getting hot. Chef's kiss. I love this one. Also, I paired this with these earrings. This is called the Charlotte Bold Hoop. These, I immediately got like 80s vibes from these. So I feel like this is kind of all very subtly a little nod to the 80s. This is like mixing generations, 80s and 2020, this whole outfit to me. I have always wanted earrings like this, something a little bit more bold and fun. I feel like with such a busy sweater, I don't wanna layer any necklaces because I don't want it to get lost in this, especially with a high neck too. So this is the perfect opportunity to play around with more bold earrings and then just leave the necklace area completely bare together. I really, really love this. Like, this is making me so excited. I think I want to go take Christmas tree pictures in this. I want to go to a Christmas tree farm. This is my fictional activity that I'm planning around an outfit like I always do. But let me know down below your thoughts. Next, this is so me. I love how simple this is. This is like a cardigan, but I would definitely wear this buttoned up as like a sweater top. But the thing I love about it is this collar is so unique. It kind of like folds over in the front all the way to the back. And it's 100% cotton, but it feels really soft. It almost kind of has Everlane vibes to me, which we all know I love. Love Everlane's style. And I feel like this would go really well with a little dainty necklace to kind of bring a little something to this V, but then also stay very minimal, just like the sweater. Oh my word. I went in with the intent of finding things McKellish and oh man, this feels so McKellish to me. I just love the simplicity of this, but there's a couple small little details that makes it stand out. First, the little buttons on the sleeves right here, I think are so sweet and it has a very, very slight little balloon sleeve. So that's a subtle detail that makes it stand out. And then the fabric right here has this detail going all the way down along the buttons. And we talked about the collar. The collar was the first thing that even drew me to this. Yet again, I have this kind of like under tucked. I wouldn't even call this a French tuck. I do this with a lot of my shirts. I've talked about it before. Where this is what it looks like down. All I do is I kind of pull it up and then let it relax. I call it like a, like a little, an under tuck. And like I said, since this is so simple, classic, dainty, but then has a little bit of a V, I thought it would pair so perfectly with this necklace. This is called the floating sapphire necklace. And it has these little three sapphires, one, two, three times. It's just so lightweight and elegant. To me, this is truly the definition of a jewelry that you could wear every single day with every single outfit. And it would just look stunning with everything. It adds a little something, something. It's like the little, icing on the cake to where it polishes off the whole look, but it takes no additional effort. That's what I always look for. And together, <laughs> I really like this. Again, let me know your thoughts. I'm open to hearing them. Okay, this one is fun. This is Eileen Fisher. We know it's a good brand. Like quality will hold up over time. I just love the texture of this and the color of this. I feel like it's very, very comfy cozy. The sleeves are kind of three quarter sleeves, but I think the pockets are just so fun. I don't know. Something about it really drew me to it. It was actually on like a rack far away and I kind of walked up to it just because I could see it from across the store and I was like, what is that? I like that color. It's like an oatmeal color. It's not cream, it's not gray, it's not, I don't know. It's kind of in between. Very excited to try this on. Okay, guys, I was super apprehensive about this. I didn't know how it was gonna look and how it was gonna read, but it's kind of vibey. <laughs> I kind of love it. I think it would look best with a black undershirt. Mine's dirty right now, but let me take a step back and show you. This is what the whole thing looks like as an outfit. And you could wear it buttoned or open like so. The material, it kind of looks linen-y, but it feels cottony. It feels, it feels cardigan-y. And I really like the look of it. Actually, I'm just wearing these exact same jeans and boots because I feel like they've gone really well with every outfit. But the whole thing together, like it kind of works in a really weird way way. I feel like this is very much LA. LA, you can kind of like push boundaries a little bit. This is like going to an underground coffee shop LA to where the rest of the US might not dig it, but people in LA would be like, I like that. That's kind of not an area I have ventured into much. I really do think this would look much better with a black undershirt. This is one that I'm curious to know your thoughts. Is it kind of fun? I do love the way it looks with these hoops though. This is the monochrome citrine hoop. Oh my word. These are so fun. I love the look of a citrine gemstone on top of like a yellow gold because they do kind of play with each other and against each other and it makes that monochromatic look. And so yet again, those subtle details that once added on top of an outfit really make it stand out. I think I like this one too. I really want to know your thoughts. 
pants. <laughs> okay, this is one that I love the look of it. I don't know how I'll like it on me because I don't typically like things that are too form-fitting, but it is a turtleneck dress, sleek black three-quarter length, very kind of sultry, and I love the look of a turtleneck with like a chain on top of it. So I think this would be really fun to try this belted with boots and with a fun chain kind of coming down underneath the turtleneck. I really hope it looks okay on me. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, the style of this dress I love, but as I kind of expected, the way it looks on my body, it kind of clings to the widest part of my hip, which I don't think is the most flattering on my body type. I am just more like pear-shaped. Nothing wrong with it, but I always like to dress in what I feel comfortable wearing. You know what I mean? So I'd love to know your thoughts. This is the full thing. Uh, I paired it with one of my great grandma's belts. I know that y'all have seen these belts so often. I don't normally reach for this white one. It's a very, very skinny, fun belt, but I wanted to kind of bring the waist in a little on this dress because otherwise it wouldn't cinch to my waist because it would just kind of be stuck in the same plane as my hips. But the vibe of this, I love. Just practically, I don't know if I love this look on my body, but if this was a turtleneck shirt, <laughs> One look that I've always, always, always loved is when people have a chain necklace over a turtleneck. It has very like sophisticated art connoisseur vibes to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> like the lady that goes to a nice lunch by herself and then goes to the art museum and takes in the art. A very well cultured woman. <laughs> this is the double curb chain necklace from Missouri. Oh my gosh, guys. I've never owned a fun bulky chain like this before and I'm so excited to start mixing this into my wardrobe. This is what this looks like. I just love these details. It lays flat like this too, so it takes up a little bit of extra width on an outfit, which I think is so fun. So yeah, this one I'm not sold on at all. It's this dress. So let me know your thoughts on this one. But now for the thing everyone's waiting for. And oh my gosh, I, I kind of can't believe I actually bought this. I think I bought this to have on hand as a like very cliche Nancy Drew. We all know I love Nancy Drew and I love like subtle hints to the 2007, eight, whatever year that was, Emma Roberts, Nancy Drew. This is like straight from set. This is like <laughs> something she might've worn in the movie, like very over the top, but we have to try it, right? I'm praying it even fits me, but we have to try it. I don't think it's gonna be flattering at all because it has, what is this? Someone let me know down below what this uh, cut is called, where it kind of flares a little bit, like at your hips, not at your waist, like an A-line, but down here, almost like, Ah, uh, no, what is that called? Mermaid would be down below your hips. I don't know what it's called. Somebody knows. I clearly don't know a lot about fashion terms, but I'm really nervous about this. Let's, let's see, let's see. <laughs> I don't know what I'm feeling right now. I like love it and I hate it at the same time. So this is it. <laughs> I kind of love it, but I also recognize it's very ugly. I spent forever trying to button this sleeve and I, I just couldn't button it by myself. Also, is this supposed to be a bow? This might, this might be a bow. Okay, this is 60s, right? Like this is a very 60s outfit. I feel like this is 60s receptionist. Um, what's that like office show that takes place in the 60s that everybody's love? I watched the first episode and I got really bored so I didn't watch past that point. But I feel like the receptionists in that would wear this. I don't know. It is fun. And it does actually fit me, but <laughs> should I keep it as a costume? Okay, help me. We have 11 months until next Halloween. What could I be for Halloween in this? I kind of Daphne. I don't exactly remember what Daphne wears, but she wears like a 60s looking pinkish uh, she wears purple, doesn't she? Maybe not Daphne. Should I just be Nancy Drew again for like the fifth time? <laughs> oh my word. <laughs> I'm kind of glad I got it. It is really, really fun. But um, like I said, I also recognize it's ugly. I'm really excited to see what you think about this one. I'm dying over it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me know. All right, y'all, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of all these things. I always love reading your opinions. I don't take anything personally if you love it or you hate it with these thrifting hauls because it is kind of just like a treasure hunt. So it's not like I looked online and found something specific and then people are like, it sucks. <laughs> that would be different. This is kind of like, let's go see what we find. So whatever your thoughts are, let me know. Also, thank you so much to Missouri for sponsoring this video. I love you with my whole heart for years and years. And like I said, I have that link down below. It takes you to a page that has every single item I own from Missouri. So if you've ever seen me in any jewelry and you're like, I wonder if that's from Missouri, that link will take you to the items that are still in stock. And then that link will also get you 10% off your first purchase throughout the whole year. But definitely recommend taking advantage of their Black Friday sale.
sale because if you get three more pieces, you get 20% off. If you're getting gifts for other people, you might as well get yourself something too and then knock up that discount, you know what I mean? I mean, is that just my mentality? <laughs> I love y'all so much. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I will see you in a video very soon. Bye.